Welcome everyone. Today we're going to explore another aspect of PowerHA, the built-in flash copy automation. This is automation that is built into PowerHA for anyone that is using PowerHA with IBM Spectrum Virtualize or IBM Flash System Storage. Everything I'm going to talk about and share with you today comes as part of the native IBMI PowerHA product without the need to purchase extra tools on top of it. Let's look at our environment today. I have my production system or partition called HADEV01C. It has its disk units in an IASP in an IBM Flash System 5200. We are doing global mirror of those disk units to another Flash System at our DR site to a partition called HADEV01A. I have a system called HADEV01D that has its IASP in that same Flash System device. And we're gonna be talking about this Flash copy at our DR site between nodes A and D. With that, let's jump into a demonstration. I have a connection up to node C and node D in my environment. I'm gonna start doing operations on node C, but we'll see that PowerHA allows us to execute most PowerHA commands from any node. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start a flash copy with PowerHA. PowerHA uses a concept called a session to manage and control replication. So for flash copy, we're going to start a flash copy session using the start SVC session command, I'm going to give the session a name, my backup. This is a flash copy session. Now we need to tell PowerHA which copies of the independent ASP is this going to go between. Copy descriptions have the information to manage and control the replication, such as the storage credentials to talk with the storage system. In my case, this is between SVC GM copy D1 and SGM FC copy D1. I'm going to leave everything as the default and hit enter here to start the flash copy. In this case, it is taking a copy between node A and node D in my environment. This is at the DR site at the target of replication. All right, PowerHA started the session, which started the flash copy. It is usable now if we wanted to. I'm gonna use the display SVC session command to show us the status. It shows the flash copy is active and the time we took the flash copy at. Let's talk about what our process is gonna to be to refresh this flash copy every day for our backup. First, I need to end the current flash copy. I'm gonna do this by suspending the session with the change SVC session command. This is gonna first vary off the independent ASP on the target system if it's online, then stop the copy in the storage. We can see with the display SVC session command, looking at it again, it now has a status that shows it is suspended. Some may choose to do this when you're ready for a new copy. Others may do this step when you're done with your backup. To take a new up-to-date copy, I'm going to resume my flash copy session using the change SVC session command with the resume option. You'll notice on this command, I have three parameters. The first one is source ASP action. This is to quiesce our production system when we perform the flash copy. Because we're taking a snapshot at the storage level, we can get a better copy that will vary on quicker by quiescing production. There are a few different levels of this that you can do, from varying off the production, which is the most disruptive, to doing nothing, the least disruptive. What we commonly see in many environments is usage of either suspend, which briefly suspends activity on production and flushes memory and then takes the flash, or a force write, which flushes memory on the production without suspending any activity. I'm going to do the suspend option today. The next thing we can decide is if we want PowerHA to automatically vary on the independent ASP on the target. I'm gonna say vary on to perform this automatically. Finally, we can also specify a program to run after we perform whatever action you specify for the target ASP action. This allows us to run a backup program, for example. I'm gonna hit enter on this. The first thing that is happening is we are suspending activity on node C and flushing memory. Once that completes, we are waiting for data to get to our DR site. Once our data gets to the DR site, we initiate the flash copy of the storage. Once that flash copy is complete, 
we then let activity start up again on node C. It will then vary on the independent ASP on node D. And then finally, it will kick off that backup program. Notice I ran this on node C, but it went and did these things on the right systems. That is something that is really great about commands like this in PowerHA. You can run these commands from any node in your cluster, making it easy to automate because you can run it on the system that is most convenient for it to run from. And here's just a quick look at that backup job running on our backup system or a flash copy system. And I'm refreshing the screen to show you that it's running through and doing its backup activity as you would expect. To summarize what we would do for our nightly backup then is I'd possibly have as few as two commands configured to run via my job scheduler like robot schedule. First, maybe a change SVC session with suspend to end my prior flash copy, and then a change SVC session resume to take my new one, or I may flip those around, depending on what works best for my environment. Now, one th final thing I do want to mention is that those automation parameters are also on the start SVC session command as well. You can, of course, use them there and end the session and start a new one each night. There you have it. That's how easy it is to automate flash copy with PowerHA.